Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a free photo viewer you might want to check out. So it's called Fly Photos. All right, so once you install it, you're not going to find it in your programs because it works by right-clicking on a photo. And on a side note, when you do install it and run the installer file, you're going to get a pop-up from Windows asking if you're sure you want to install this. And that's most likely because it's not you know, a big-name developer or doesn't have a certificate for the program. So that's up to you, but it seems like it's okay. All right, so once you have it installed, you can just pick any picture you want here, right click on it. Of course, for Windows 11, you got to go to Show More Options, or just hold down Shift and right click. Then you have this option to open with Fly. And you can see it opens on your screen, full screen here, but the edges are transparent, so you can kind of see behind the picture. And of course, that'll change depending on how wide your picture is. And then you have a little film strip feature down here, kind of like the Windows Photos app has. And you could also use these arrows here, or the arrows on your keyboard. And then this button here will rotate it if you want. And then this button here will fit to the display area. And then this one here will make it the actual size, one to one ratio. Then you have some options here. There's some keyboard shortcuts. You want to check those out. You can change the theme here. You want to go dark mode. Uh, you have some options here. If you want to use something different besides transparent, like frozen, you can see it kind of see the icons back there. And you can change the transparency if you want as well. And you have some options for zoom in on open. If you want to use a checkered background, fit the screen. If you want to turn off the thumbnail strip at the bottom, fade options, and cache size. There's some log information too. And you notice too, you could kind of minimize it here and still drag it around. And then resize it just like any other app. All right, so one other thing you can do, so if you really like the program and you want to use that as your default viewer, you could right click on a picture here, open with, choose another app. And if you don't have Fly Photos there, you can choose an app on your PC. You'll find it in Program Files under RYF Tools, Fly, and there's the executable. And you can say Always to that. And now, when you double click a picture, it'll use Fly Photos to open it. So that's an option too. And of course, you could change it back as well. All right, as you can see, it's pretty nice uh, photo viewer here. I guess the goal of the developer was to try and replicate Picasa, which is now, I think, gone. That was a Google Photo app. So it seems pretty quick and pretty lightweight, so it might be something you want to check out. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download Fly Photos and you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.